So on Mod The Sims, a really popular sim for modding website, one of the most popular mods ever is a Lifetime Aspirations mod. Now, unfortunately, this mod was abandoned as of September 2021. But thank you so much to the mod creator Need Coffee for that because they have basically adopted this mod. So for those of you who haven't heard of the original Lifetime Aspirations mod, it overhauls the entire Aspirations system of The Sims 4. We all know The Sims 4 Aspiration system kind of has some problems. We all know it's a bit tutorially in the wrong way. We all know they're a little bit unrealistic and they're all a bit rigid. This mod basically turns aspirations into a lifetime commitment because the whole point of an aspiration is not a tutorial. The whole point of an aspiration should be your lifetime goal. Every time you choose a sim, every sim must have this one goal that they have to achieve in life and that's what aspiration should be and that's what this mod does. Now when you install the mod, all you have to do is pop it in your mods folder, only one folder deep, otherwise this grip file doesn't work. It comes with lifetime aspirations and the new ones. As you can see based on the names, you can see that they all have different pack names, get to work, get together, city living, blah, 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 blah. If you don't own one of the packs, you must delete it. So if I did not own Seasons hypothetically, I've got to delete that bitch because if I don't, then it will be a little bit glitchy. So you've got to get rid of the ones you don't own and then it should work fine. That's right, we do have the iconic Shanice Shanice. And and just look at all of these brand new mods. Oh my God, I literally cannot cope because there's so many. Every aspiration still comes with a special hidden trait. So for example, location comes with home turf. These sims are happiest when they're in their home neighborhood. Now notably, as you can see, there are not different stages of the lifetime wish. It's just one thing. For this lifetime wish media girl wrote, she just wants to reach level 10 of the social media career. Getting around, Chantal being, the <laughs> Chantal being classic Chantal. She wants a woohoo with 30 different sims. And the option to get to the reward store it's much more easily available so you just click it there and you can get all your reward stuff. Of course you can still change them up if you want to. I'm gonna do the fabulously wealthy one and just cheat our way to completing it just to see what happens. So are you ready? There we go. I, we've completed our lifetime aspiration and we've got 5,000 satisfaction points and then of course you can spend those on whatever stuff that you like. The great thing I love as well is that some of the packs for The Sims 4 didn't even come with any aspirations in the first place. For example, Get to Work came with no aspiration, surprisingly. But thanks to this mod, we have Retail Therapist, which basically means serve 200 customers in your shop as a part of it. Top Surgeon reached level 10 in the Doctor career, something that should have come with Get to Work, but didn't, but we've got it with this mod. And I just love that we've got this occult category because we didn't have it before. It's honestly amazing. I honestly love it so much. This is honestly such a cool mod and it literally comes with something for everything. It literally, because one of the most annoying things about The Sims 4 is people do get bored easily. But when you have this system of aspirations, every single Sims 4 Let's Play you can do, you can be like, right, I'm having this one aspiration and I'm gonna complete it. And the great thing about the fact that it doesn't have stages like the original ones do, just because it has this like overall one, what it means is you can reach it by any means possible, which facilitates creative play and playing in the game how you wanna play it. It doesn't force you into this box like a tutorial. It actually lets you do it in your own way. And for that, I do give credit to the mod. And yes, we do still have the grilled cheese mod. Eat 200 grilled cheese sandwiches. I wonder how many slices of toast I eat in a year. I would love to know. I honestly cannot recommend this enough. I'm not gonna go over every single one, but they are all very cleverly done. And I honestly just can't get over how amazing it is. Just a short mod review. If you wanna see another mod review, make sure you check out this video here. See you in the next one.